we want to simplify the given square root expressions. The first expression is seven times the square root of 54. The square root of 54 will simplify if 54 contains any perfect square factors. To help us determine the perfect square factors, let's look at the prime factorization of 54. 54 is equal to two times 27, two is prime. 27 is equal to three times nine, three is prime. And nine is equal to three times three. The prime factorization of 54 is two times three times three times three, which means we can write the given expression as seven times the square root of two times three times three times three. Every time we see two equal factors, we have a perfect square factor, and therefore three times three or three squared is a perfect square factor of 54, and therefore this will simplify. The square root of three times three, or the square root of nine, simplifies to one factor of three, and therefore the expression simplifies to seven times three times the square root of two times three, Seven times three is 21, two times three is six. The expression simplifies to 21 times the square root of six. Looking at the second example, we have negative three times the square root of 72. Again, this will simplify if 72 contains any perfect square factors. And if we recognize that 72 is equal to 36 times two, and 36 is a perfect square, we can save some time from having to determine the prime factorization. So let's show two ways to simplify this expression. Again, if we recognize that 72 is equal to 36 times two, we can write the given expression as negative three times the square root of 36 times two, and 36 is a perfect square. The square root of 36 is equal to six, and therefore the expression simplifies to negative three times six times the square root of two, which gives us negative 18 square root two. So this is a faster way to simplify the square root expression if we recognize 36 is a perfect square factor of 72. If we don't, we would determine the prime factorization of 72. So let's take a look at this as well. 72 is equal to nine times eight, Nine is equal to three times three. Eight is equal to two times four. And four is equal to two times two. The prime factorization of 72 contains three factors of two and two factors of three. And therefore we could have written the original expression as negative three times the square root of two times two times two times three times three. And now every time we have two equal factors, we have a perfect square factor. Two times two or four is a perfect square factor of 72, and so is three times three or nine. So simplifying, we have negative three times the square root of two times two or four simplifies to one factor of two. The square root of three times three or nine simplifies to one factor of three, and we still have the square root of two and negative three times two times three is negative 18, giving us the same result of negative 18 square root two. I hope you found this helpful.